Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Crazies. My name is Cassie and we are continuing playing Eve, the JRPG, so far. Um, we have gathered three people. We have Eve, a nine-year-old schoolgirl who went to visit our gallery. We have Gary. Be careful, you two. The British gentleman who's about three feet taller than we are. And obviously a British adult. He also carries a lighter and gave me a piece of candy. And then we have Mary, who just puts me off just a little bit. Just a little bit, because she makes creepy faces at me. But we have a purple key, so we're going to keep going. I pull up? I don't know how to pull up a menu. Hello, you're in the statue. Looks like this would break if you hit it. Way too heavy to move, though. She irritates me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that face. It's filled with yellow drawing paper. Let's go out. Let's check this room first. Very kind of paint. Hello. Hello. There's no one around, but you feel a presence. I'd like to take this stool, but it looks like it's stuck to the ground. I don't believe you. A sketch of some strange thing. It's packed with various painting tools. Is there anything useful in here? Ah! There's a palette knife deep in the box. Maybe this can cut those vines. Yeah, let's go try it. Let's go try it. Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. You're not good with jokes, are you, Eve? Oh, right, because they're stone. They're not plants. But I think I'll hold on to this. Why? Why? Why are you holding on to a knife? You're a nine-year-old girl. Quit it. You know, just in case. We're not supposed to touch anything or break anything. It's a freaking palette knife. Put the knife down. It's filled with more brushes. I don't really see anything useful. Should we just go back to Gary for now? What? Huh? That scared me. No. I don't know. I don't trust you. I think you're part of the problem. Huh? The exit? When did that move? Wasn't it just against the wall? Move it, Abe. I'm a nine-year-old girl. Gary's been the only one who can move this stuff. Ready? Heave! No good. It won't even budge. What do we do, Abe? You can't move it yourself. Yeah, because Gary's the only one who can move these things. Alright, let's go forward. Not much else we can do, but don't go this way, Eve. I hate you. I hate you so much. Hello? Why is there a shadow moving in there? What is that? Something red is splattered here. your nose. I want you to have fun, Eve. Come to a fun world without any adults. We'll be together. You, me, and our friends. But I want to get out. I don't want to stay here. This place creeps me out. Let's save. Alright, so. We can't get over there. But look, there's a painting up there. With a cord above it. If we get the painting down here, we could cross. There's no floor. No kidding, there's no floor there. Alright, well, that's a blue rose. I have a red rose, but Gary has a blue rose. Let's go check out what Gary's doing. I wonder what Gary's doing. I kind of left him behind. Hello, Gary. They're taking their time. I wonder if something happened. Eve? Mary? Can you hear me? Let them go alone. What to do? I suppose I'll investigate that room again. As much as I hate to go back in there. Alright. Oh, look. I'm controlling Gary. Oh, no. Why can't I pull up a menu? Oh, well. If I could, I'd show you what Gary was holding, but I can't pull it up right now. No, I don't want to do that. is actually what the room looks like. This this is not a room full of bunnies. Well, remember what this thing said. If your spirit suffers too much, you will soon start to hallucinate. Apparently, Eve's been having too much spiritual strain in this in this world. It's causing to her, her to hallucinate. And in in blah, blah, blah. you can read it. I'm done reading right now. So she has no idea the fact that she's seeing 
cute little bunnies when in reality they're really creepy dolls. Nothing of note here. Hmm? Ah, it moved! Why didn't I notice that earlier? Oh well, I can go out this way. Let's go. No, I'm Gary. There's no exit, there's no reason. Triangle space here. There's a bunch of cords here. Now, uh, let's see. I don't remember which cord it was. Let's try this one. Ow! Uh, this one. Yay! It's the right one. So the cords will do different things. You want to pull the correct one. One of them will drop a mannequin head or a doll, depending on your choices up to this point. And remember, ruining the artwork will negatively affect your ability to get the good ending. So you don't want to break stuff. Alright, so um, I can't do much else. So let's go back and see what Ibn... What's your face are up to? Let's save the game. Save though. I know. Hello.
There's a rainbow on the canvas. Alright, well, there's no color in here. There's a key over there. I can't get over there. We have to leave. Alright, let's go over here. It's locked. What's this? Can we put in a name? Well, we just checked out Heavenly Thread. Worry, I know, is actually a f in half of a face on a red background. So it has to be this one. There was a sound. Yay, it opened. last days. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. The girl went with her parents to an arc- Alright, that's really creepy. That is really creepy. That's- that's talking about Eve. But all of a sudden, the girl realized that she was lost. She searched through the dim gallery, but found neither her parents nor the exit. Scared, helpless, lonely, hungry, and thirsty, she fell and hurt herself, putting her body past the limit. The last page has an illustration of a collapsed girl. I wonder if it looks like Eve. Collected words of Gertena. Contains paintings by Gertain in alphabetical order. Should we take a look? Uh, let's, let's check them out because we don't have much else we can do until we go back to Gary. The Lady in Red. It was said that he based this on a lover he had at the time, but he has denied this claim. In truth, Gertain based it around the blank women who attempted to court him for his inheritance. You don't know some of the words. That's okay. The Blank Fish. Despite being grayscale, we actually saw this one earlier. I don't remember when, but we did see it earlier. Despite being grayscale, this curious piece makes clever use of shading and angles to give the impression of color. The blank fiction of even the blank evokes a wide variety of emotions in people. You don't know some of the words. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to give a good description when you can't read, Eeb. Let's see. Juggling. A work based on a juggler he saw at the circus with his grandchild. As it is extremely rare for Gertena to use real people as models, this piece is highly valuable. So, Gertena, I don't know, some of this gives a little background into the, um, kind of backstory of, oh, there's my hubby again, the backstory of the, the game. You know, we don't know much about Gertena. Hell, we don't even know what he looks like. We just know he painted all this wonderful stuff in his lifetime. There's a keyhole in the wall. Why would you put the key in there? I don't like the look of that. We're not gonna do that. 